In the most remote and forgotten corner of the cosmos, a living and hungry darkness looms, known as Ego, the Necro World. This dark being is a living planet, driven mad by its thirst for death, the most powerful force in a universe that is slowly fading away. An unexpected and soft voice confronts Ego. It's a worm, a tiny being sliding on Ego's surface, challenging him to a duel to the death. Ego's laughter echoes in the emptiness of space, a mocking response to the worm's challenge. It offers Ego a peaceful way out in exchange for the Necrosword, but Ego rejects the offer, opting instead to unleash its fury on the small worm. The roar of the mighty Necro world shook the heavens, but not enough to drown out the laughter of a small worm, who despite everything, remains alive. Even in its small size, it shows bravery in the face of its anger, causing him to tear itself apart, trying to exterminate the seemingly insignificant creature. As the battle continues, the worm proposes an end to the conflict, but Ego refuses, convinced that there's no possibility the worm could harm him. In the depths of space, the worm begins to whisper. His soft and constant words become a torment for Ego's mind. Each sentence is like a dagger that hurts its consciousness. Ego writhes under the onslaught of the worm's whispers. After 99 years of constant torment, Ego yields. Surrendered and broken, it grants the worm what it had asked for from the beginning. The power of the Necrosword. And so, the tiny worm becomes something more. A god. A god now wielding the Necrosword, an extremely dangerous and omnipotent being. 